Here's a GRE algebra question. Let's take a look. Square ABCD is drawn in the XY coordinate plane. A diagonal is drawn between the vertices A and C, which are at the point 0, 2, and root 28, 0, respectively. We want to know what's greater. Quantity A, which is the area of square ABCD, or quantity B, which is 16. All right, well, if they don't give you a drawing, you better draw one yourself. That's my, that's my two cents. So let's, let's get to it. Let's put our x-coordinate there, and our, or our x-axis here, our y-axis here. And I'm just going to sketch what I have. 0, 2 is right about there. So that's point A. That's the point 0, 2. I'll write that in there, 0, comma, 2. And the point C is at root 28, 0. So right there. And I'll, I'll write this in. Square root of 28, comma, 0. And that's point C. Now, I'm told that this is the diagonal of the square, right? And if I want to, I could sketch the rest of the square. Let's do it. Why not, right? So the rest of the square is going to look something like this. Boom, 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 boom. But I'm really going to focus on this diagonal here because that's what I'm given. I'm trying to find the area of the square. How do I calculate the area of the square? Well, it's going to be one side times the other side. So how do I figure out the length of this side? Do I need to figure out what this exact point is and use the distance formula? No, because there's a quicker way. So I'm going to make this square a little more concrete. Boom, 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 boom. Here's my first question. What's the distance of the diagonal? What's the distance from the point 0, 2, to the point root 28, 0. You could use the distance formula. You could. But the way to calculate the distance of a line in the coordinate plane is to use triangles, right? So I'm, I, this is going to get a little confusing, but let me draw this again on a, on a much smaller scale, right? If I'm going from here to here, right, that's the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So since this is the point 0, 2, that's a height of 2 right there, right? This is a height of 2. And this is a, a run, a distance of the square root of 28, right? Root 28. Meaning that the hypotenuse of this is a squared plus b squared equals c squared and take the square root. So what is a squared plus b squared? Well, root 28 squared is 28 plus 2 squared is 4. So that means that this distance, right? This diagonal across the square has to be root 32. Watch what happens when we simplify this down. This is a hard problem, right? Root 32 is the same thing as the square root of 16 times 2. And the square root of 16 times 2 is the same thing as 4 root 2, right? I can take the 16 out and take the square root of that. 4 root 2. Now, there is a rule that you really should know about right triangles. I should say isosceles right triangles. If I have a square, right, and I have a diagonal like this, if this side is x and this side is x, then the diagonal is x root 2. Well, that's what I have here, right? If the diagonal is 4 root 2, then that means that each side is going to be 4 and 4, and that the area, when I multiply 4 and 4 together, is 16. So that means that the area of the square is, in fact, equal to 16. For more GRE tips and tricks, or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.